Okay, so let's continue on our example number five. Uh, let me show again our progress. So this is the first uh, first if. Okay, so actually our um, uh, example number five gives an example for nested ifs. So because we already asked the question, is all of, uh, or yes, are, is, is all of the cells involved C3, D3, E3? Yes, okay, so that means we're gonna have, uh, sorry, this is double quotation mark. So we're gonna multiply the percent, 9 percent to our annual salary, okay? Now, if not, what will we do, okay? As I told you, we have to go to the second level. And what is that second level? Let's go to our truth table. That second level is if th th this is all known. Why did I choose this? I'm going to tell you why did I choose that later. Uh, sorry, so let's share first the Excel file. Okay. So as I was saying, the first statement is that if it is all yes, okay? In example number five, that is already covered here. So I'll shade it so that, um, okay, I will shade it so that we know that we already covered. Now, any of this can be the second level, okay? It depends on your attack, okay? Now I'm going to attack it that I will go here, okay? And state this first, this first great, this criteria or criterion. So what is that? When all of this is known. So it's just the reverse of this. Okay. So let's go back to our notepad. Okay. So what will I do is if I'm going to just copy this. I told you it's going to be easier if I copy. You can see that it's nested already. Okay. Now. I'll just change this to no. This no also. So you can see the next nested if question. If this is not true, okay, so one of this is not yes, then it will not be this one, it will not perform uh, this result. He will ask again another question. If not that one, so maybe this one. And C3 no, D3 no, E3 no. You're asking all those cells, seminar one, two, and three, if they are no. If they are not, all, uh, all of them are no, then let's go here. I'm just going to Right there. Uh, okay, I'm just going put to put this in the next line. It's better. So if okay, they are all no, then the result will be. You just copy this again so that F3. Let's go to your Excel. Check your Excel file. I think no bonus is. Yes, that's K8. Okay, so now I'm just going to put here K8. Okay, why K8? Because K8 is a cell containing no bonus. So whatever, if this is uh, true now, then he will just put that result to uh, no bonus. But uh, I will put the other sign again here. Okay, so that's our next statement. Now, let's go to our Excel file again. Okay, so I already covered this. Okay, so either of this is what I'm going to state. Okay, 
Now there are, this one is a little bit tricky. So let, I need you to follow this. So, but once I finish this one, I don't have to do or write the last criterion because that's the false statement from all the nested ifs that you have done. Okay, if you are going to go back to the simple uh, if, well, single if, once the logic test is true, the value, uh, the value if true will be uh, performed. If it is false, then the last statement, right? So here, if you're nesting them, the last statement will be the false. So whatever is not covered by this and this and this, 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 and this, then it will perform this, okay? So let's see, how do I write that in our notepad? I'm going to choose the notes, uh, attended two seminars. And the attended two seminars are here, okay? But there are three possible combinations, okay? Remember that, there are three possible combinations. So either this, or this, or this, either. That means or. If this is true, okay, then you're going to have 6%. Also, if this is true, then you're going to have 6%. So when that statement is already there, then that means you're going to use a statement that's or. But remember, this is already and. You're combining seminar 1, seminar 2, seminar 3. Okay, so let's go back to our notepad so it will be easier for you. Okay, so, okay, so this is already satisfied. I mean, we already wrote this. Uh, just imagine that this is just one statement. Huh? I'm just putting a space here so that it will be easier for us. Now, so if this is not satisfied, this one, okay, and the other if, if this is not satisfied, then we have to connect again another if. Okay, so this is what I'm telling you. Okay, in the sake of this lecture, I'm going to put this here. So it will be easier. This is not satisfied, this is not satisfied. So let's go here. Okay, so I'm telling you either. So you have to use or. What are you uh, using the or for? because I'm going to copy this, okay? The first situation that we have two yeses is that yes, yes, no. This is the combination. Yes, yes, no, right? The combination of C3, D3, E3, C3 must be yes, D3 must be yes, and E3 must be no, Okay, and you and them, it's already combination. It's the same idea as you did here. All of the combination are yes, all of the combination are no. Here, you're combining yes, yes, and no. Exactly. Okay, remember that if this is not, one of this is not true, then the result of this is true. Uh, not true also. All of this. Okay, but since you are oring them, maybe this is not true, but maybe... Okay, yes, yes, no, you'll have yes, no, yes, okay? Then another is that, okay, for the sake again, okay, and Okay, so yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, and then uh, no, yes, yes. Okay, so this S or R, the combination, okay, that we are ORing. It's either this or this or this. Okay, now we have to close the parentheses because we or them. We open here, you're closing here. 
the and, open here, close here. Okay? Now, I'm going to give that to you later on. So, what will happen if this is uh, now true? Because what we're saying here, it's either your combination for C3, D3, and E3 is yes, yes, no, or the combination here is yes, no, yes, or the combination here is no, yes, yes. Okay? Close the or parent uh, um, statement. The result of this, if it is true, then that's the time you're going to use. Okay, the salary F3 multiplied by what's our cell for that 6%? It's K6. So K6. Read an absolute address. Okay? Okay, the last statement I told you, we already told about uh, the 9%. The no bonus and the 6%. How about the 3%? That's the last statement. We don't need to use if here because this is the value if false already. Therefore, I'm just going to connect another one, which is the 3%. And that 3% is if you're going to look in your uh, example by 5 worksheet. That is K7. Okay, and now we're going to close all these parentheses. Okay, so let me copy this, the whole of this, okay, in our uh, Excel file. So let me uh, end the notepad. Let me go back to your Excel file. Okay, here, I'm going to go here, double click, and copy the whole statement. I'm just going to remove some of these spaces, and I will connect them all together. Hopefully, you are seeing this in the video. If not, then I'll be, have to retake or reshoot this video. Okay, so I close this. Okay, I'm not finished with, yeah, okay. So until I get the black parenthesis, that's the time I can stop. So press enter, see, there's no error. So that means we are correct. And true enough, let's say yes, yes, two, uh, seminar, so that's 6% is 9,600, 6% of, uh, so I'm going to just manually put it here. Is this multiplied by 6%, 576? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to copy now the whole formula. And I'm going to copy the formatting here. And I have already your bonuses. Okay. So, if you have a question, I'm going to stop with this video. Uh, if you, th you think that there's another solution with this, okay, let me know. Okay, but anyway, that's the solution to our uh, example number five. So I will have a next part of this video and let's see. Uh, I will leave that question. Do you think there's another way on how to solve this? So think about that. Okay, but anyway, that's uh, uh, the example on how to use nested ifs and or the and, the and and then the or okay but i'm going to come back on our next video so thank you very much for hanging out with me ciao